What up HyperChange? I just finished downloading the version 10.8.1 of Tesla's full self-driving beta software, the latest version. We're gonna go through downtown Seattle. Potentially what people are saying is like one of the most tricky situations for this uh, self-driving car technology to navigate. Tiny streets, lots of weird little street signs. Um, it's actually rush hour in Seattle. It's just like, I'm just like, why not? Let's try it out and see how FSD does and just see how we're doing on the front lines. I'm getting some heat online for being like, people think I'm critical. I don't know, I'm just trying to get my honest take on the software. Um, it's not perfect. This is still beta, it still needs a lot of work, but it is incredible technology. Um, so I'm hyped to just take you all along with me and see how the latest version does. Let's roll. FSD engaged, here we go. And so now Tesla's rolled out three different settings for its uh, self-driving profile. It has aggressive, uh, mild, and average. Essentially, I'm on average right now, but I thought that was an interesting new feature. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. I think it would have been fine there, but just got a little too close to that car. It was freaked out because someone was pulling out. <clears throat> Letting this guy go. That's good. And I'm going to try and have some of this uh, footage unedited so you can really just get feel like you're in the car with me here. Okay, sees so that pedestrian, great. But now this guy's going. He was super aggressive. Okay, I'm gonna give us some juice to make sure we hit this. We are in the only bus lane right now. And if you can see this track, this is where the uh, the South Lake Union Transit, AKA the slut goes. I didn't make that up, that's that train up there. But that's why you're seeing those train tracks. Okay, nice lane change. Wow, okay, that was smooth. <clears throat> right downtown Seattle 450 this is rush hour uh, this is about as tough as you can get for a trial so ooh it sees that as a tram bus ooh okay here we go wow great going in tandem with the tram impressive Nice turn there. All right, I'm disengaging on purpose and I'm gonna take us on the monorail test really quick. Ooh, and this time it got into the turn only lane. Usually it doesn't do that, so that was a good start. Is it gonna try and make a right on red here? Uh oh. My visibility is not great here. Wow, right on red. Ooh. I disengaged it there, but I didn't actually turn it, so it did everything itself. Wow, now it's doing great. Um, now let's see if we can do this lane change. Very slow. I've set it to slow on purpose. Let's see if it does this. Wow, I think it might do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Disengaged on accident there. It's gonna try again. Let's see what it does. Whoa, whoa. And this is once again a very tricky edge case scenario. I'm gonna take the, te the speed down. And what are we doing now? Oh man, this is ridiculous. What is it doing? This is... <laughs> I mean, this is one of the weirdest streets ever. And now we have this added, like, construction going on over here. Oh, wow. Is it gonna do it? Oof. Okay. It was turning back. Alright, this guy's like, what the hell are you doing, Gally? Okay. 
Monorail test, fail. Um, so that's the monorail test. I don't know, that was a tricky one though. Um, but now let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna navigate us to Capitol Hill. This is the stuff where it really impresses me. Like it sees all the cars, it has its signal on, it's gonna be able to make a lane change, I think. Like that's pretty impressive. Um, Ooh, nice. And then it does that very smooth lane change there. That was another good one. Waiting for these pedestrians to go. Classy move. Let's see if it goes. Or am I going to have to give it juice? Ooh, no. That did it all by itself. Ooh, nice. And it did, it has almost hit that barrier once before, so it didn't hit it there. But this is, when I talk about why I'm, I don't use FSD all the time, it's because of like a turn like that, for instance, where it's like, there's a lot of headaches, there's a lot of swerving, like it gets close, but like it was safe, it was moving slow, it was fine. It's just, it's just not convenient to use because you're always kind of stressed about, will it mess up there? Will it wiggle? Is it, why is it doing that? And um, I don't know, I just don't, I, at the end of the day, um, and this is why some people are hating on me, but I'm okay with it. But at the end of the day, like, I just don't engage it all the time. Like, I just don't really use it that much because um, I'm worried it's it's going to mess up. And I'm just not, not that it's going to mess up, but that it's just going to be more stressful to use than daily driving. So, and th this is me trying to give it a review for you, you all watching and for Tesla of like, the galley super cautious boring driver you know what is my review of this technology and software and i think that's super important because we were talking about going beyond a couple thousand tesla fans who are super nerdy and give tesla the benefit of the doubt of everything we're talking about bringing this technology to the mainstream to the masses you know see that's like middle intersection just kind of stops there because this guy's in two lanes now i'm giving it juice to my foot um but yeah, I just think this has a long way to go before everyone is comfortable letting the car drive themselves, let, let, letting the car drive itself at all times. I think my biggest scar from doing all this FSD testing and videos is when it takes a turn too tight and it's curved my rims. Cause if, you, if you've been watching my FSD video, you know it's curved my rims a couple times. It's just like the, what's happening? Do you see why it's beeping? I don't know why it's beeping. Whoa, what's happening? Why is it going? Interesting. right here like why is it not in the lane interesting place to stop here let's see if how it navigates this a lot of pedestrians gonna be coming And now it should go. Not give, I'm not touching it at all right now. It's doing it by itself. Awesome work, a little jerky. And if you're wondering why I'm controlling the speed so much and taking it down, it's because sometimes when it turns, um, I don't think it's going faster than I necessarily would, but it's like a weird feeling when the car's turning, kind of going at a fast pace, and it's you know literally driving itself. So. That's why it's like a super triple caution. I like, I don't know if I shouldn't be doing that, but I like to turn the speed down when I'm coming into like a big turn or something just so it doesn't freak me out. So we got a pedestrian who does not have the right of way, but she's cross, and the Tesla lets her cross, that's awesome. See, I'll leave it at 25 here for this turn. Let's see how it does. It. Wow. 
Okay, didn't even signal. Woo, that was a very good, damn. Okay, that felt very smooth and human-like. That was like exactly what I would have done in that situation. Ooh, okay. Look at this. Now it's just, that was, a, okay. I let it just stop there so you can see what, and see now this, okay, fuck my bad. Damn, Tesla making me look like a noob out here. It's an insanely tricky left. There's a shitload of construction here. I don't know what's going on. This is weird. It's usually not like this. And if it was kind of polite, it would be getting in the turning lane so this guy behind me could go straight if he wanted. But he hasn't honked at me yet, so. If it does this by itself, I'm gonna be super impressed. Okay, now we got the chance when this car goes. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, ooh, it's already doing it. Nice, nice. And now we got the yellow. Is it gonna, you can't just stop here, bro. What? If I give it a little juice, will it go? I'm giving it juice, I'm giving it juice. I don't wanna disengage it with the juice. Ooh, okay, there it did it, nice. Like that, okay, damn, maybe that what was a little dramatic, but it just like shouldn't have braked right there. Cause there was, I don't know why, it just caught me by surprise, okay. Okay, there you have it. That's my 10.8.1 FSD beta test. Remember, I'm a horrible driver. Um, I'm a good investor, I'm a good talker, but driving is like, I'm not a good driver. I, I lived in New York for 10 years. I'm a super cautious driver. Um, so remember that when you're watching my videos, but I'm trying to give y'all the, what it's really like to be at the front lines, to be using this as an average consumer. I gotta say at the end of the day, I'm still trusting myself um, in my driving skills way better than FSD. I still think it's safer. I'm very curious what's gonna happen because the big new change for FSD is switching it to a single stack, going from this sort of fragmented approach of city streets, FSD beta, this whole project that's separate from the autopilot FSD, which works incredible, which I'm a huge fan of, which Tesla's built an insane product with their autopilot software on the highway, but this is a different ball game. And now they're getting ready to merge these two stacks, combine the technology, deploy this at scale. Um, so it's gonna be extremely interesting to, to see how it all turns out. But I gotta say, just as like a core Tesla fanboy and super nerd who wants to see this improve, who wants to see self-driving cars on the road ASAP, like it's just, it's hard. The, the more I've noticed and more I've driven the Tesla, I'm like less and less confident this will be solved in the next year or two. More confident it will take years to solve. Um, but that being said, I do think Tesla's ahead. I do think they have the right approach. In a lot of situations, it's useful, but the key for FSD is you gotta know when to use it. You gotta assume it's gonna mess up in certain situations. And at the just end of the day, me driving in downtown Seattle is one of the worst places to use uh, FSD. It's gonna crush it in suburbs, in California, in easier spots, but downtown urban areas, that is the March of Nines. That's the hardest part of full self-driving beta software. And that's why I'm testing out there. So to show y'all how it is, and it still needs a little bit of work, but that's just the end of the day. This is my review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What kind of more videos on FSD do you want me to make? Um, what do your thoughts on the software um would you use this would you drive with it um if you had it on your vehicle let me know see you all next time peace